Okay, we have a we have Mike, we have a roof that just flew through the air here. I don't know where it came from. Wow, twisters battering the planes this week. Dozens injured, homes and businesses flattened. No doubt they're going to need federal emergency funds to recover. But some disaster funds could soon be held back if FEMA doesn't like a state's plan to combat climate change. Now, Mike, doesn't this strike you as a little bit of blackmail? Accept our mm -hmm. views on climate change or else. David, this is a tyrannical president using FEMA aid to force his agenda. Two years ago, there was a very extensive survey done, peer-reviewed, of over a thousand scientists. Two-thirds of them said that climate change and global warming in particular were either not human-made or, in fact, there was nothing we could do to prevent it. Austin, let me just put up what FEMA's <laughs> rules would be if they're enacted within a year. And this is according to FEMA's own statement. They must include, and this is referring to states' plans, must include consideration of changing environmental or climate conditions. That strikes me as blackmail. <laughs> you got you. You sound like that old guy. Remember when Mount St. Helens blew up? And he lived on the side of the mountain, and FEMA tried to get him to move, tried to get his head. No, he said, I'm not going to, they're not going to tell me what to do. That guy was never heard from again. Awesome. You ignore the, the science. All of the global FEMA warming cannot ignore the have been science. proven wrong by their forecast. They absolutely have not. You, <laughs> they, you are coming from a different planet. Let's contact the astronomers to figure out what How you're talking about. How many, about. Austin, just one question. If you How build many your more house, hurricanes have we had since if Katrina? You build your house. How many if you more build your severe house on hurricanes have we had since fault, Katrina? If you build your house on the San Andreas Fault, they have every right to say you need to put in earthquake preparedness. If you build your house in the middle of a flood plain, you should put in a sump pump. And if you want FEMA's money for natural disasters from hurricanes, you should take into account yeah. the fact that on average, <laughs> Everyone believes we're going to have stronger and more frequent Not hurricanes. Not everyone. If we Sabrina, get the point is Al Gore was saying after <laughs> Katrina, hurricanes are going to be worse than Katrina. They're going to continue. In fact, we've had fewer hurricanes since Katrina than were expected, a lot fewer. Yeah, you know, it's so funny, David. I mean, I feel like environmentalists and progressives are so convinced that all of these natural disasters are the are caused by climate change. But you'll remember that, you know, not very long ago, the, the central issue for environmentalists was clean air, clean water. This, this notion that climate change has become a global crisis and something that's causing natural disasters is really in the last 10 or 11 years that suddenly it's exploded. The, the reality is, and, and Austin, I think this is so important, South Dakota's economy and South Dakota's environmental needs are so different than that of of California's or Texas yeah. or South Carolina. We are a big country. One size does not fit all. Well, Rich, you're closer to San Andreas Fault than I am. And I agree with Austin. If you're living on the San Andreas Fault, fine. But there's so many questions about the climate change agenda uh, that should, I don't think that should be a part of the reason why you do or don't get disaster relief. Yeah, so what happens? Wichita, Kansas gets wipes out, wiped out by a tornado, but it doesn't get FEMA funding because it has an plane industry which pollutes the sky. I mean, this stuff gets ridiculous in a hurry. EMAC, is this PC blackmail? Yeah, it's really bad. Listen, are we Uzbekistan? All of a sudden, FEMA central planners get to dole out how <laughs> taxpayer dollars are spent. Listen, I, you know, personally, I don't like it that the Arctic sea ice is melting. I get that. We should not build in, uh, in floodplains. But what I have a problem with is that the Greenies put people in front of an intellectual firing squad if you disagree with them uh, because the science they think is, uh, is settled when it's not really settled. And these models sometimes are calibrated to punish out opinions. Look what happened to Florida GOP Governor uh, Rick Scott. He said, do not use the term climate change in EPA, in the state EPA uh, policies. And guess what? The Greenies now want to investigate them. Right. I think that's really bad. John, it's happening. I mean, those states, it, it, these new rules aren't going to be in effect for another year, but it's already beginning to happen. Is that right or wrong? Well, you know, I think the tragedy here is that FEMA exists in the first place. Let's look back to Hurricane Katrina because that's very instructive. If we didn't federalize disasters, because let's face it, weather is different in all 50 states, the citizens of New Orleans would never have elected such an incompetent as Ray Nagin, who was clueless about what to do once disaster struck. If FEMA didn't exist, if people didn't expect mm -hmm. the federal government to handle problems that should be local in nature, people might elect people with a clue such that 
that Katrina wouldn't have been such a disaster for New right. Orleans residents. Well, I don't want to bury the lead here. Mike, what do you think about John saying that FEMA itself should be eliminated? I think he's absolutely right, and John's larger point I think really is the fact that the more power we give the federal government, the more they, power they have over dictating our lives and taking away our liberty. Go ahead, Austin. You sound exactly like the Mount St. Helens guy. Look, FEMA cannot ignore <laughs> the science. See what they I need said? to get us prepared. It's our money. We're the ones paying for FEMA. If you don't want uh, emergency relief for natural disasters, then that's who should move to Uzbekistan. They don't have FEMA you know, in Uzbekistan. See, you just proved my point about putting yeah. people in front of an intellectual firing squad if you disagree with them, right? So that's not the way to go. Listen, the scientists who live off taxpayer grants really are pushing a lot of agendas here. And watch it. The wind and solar crowd also get, uh, get, deliver a lot of campaign donations as well. Watch out for that, too. That's the last word. Meanwhile, the Cash and In Gang is getting you ready to roll at the bottom of the hour. Eric, what do you have? Hey, David, the fireworks over free speech. Our own Juan Williams confronts the person behind the Muhammad cartoon contest. Plus, inner cities like Baltimore want more tax money for schools, but we have stats showing taxpayers may already be getting a bad return on their investment. See you at 1130. Thanks, Eric. We will be watching. But up here first, another IRS mess, this time wasting billions handing out bogus education tax breaks. Well, now a plan to teach it a lesson for good by cutting its budget by the same amount it wastes.